Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Slice and Dice 3.0. In we're gonna go. Uh, honestly, C flex, take flex, maybe? I think we, uh, we go for that. So just a normal squad, but instead of a rogue, we have a green, it looks like, is the setup. And sure, right to our blank. You know, we could. We could deal with that. The first spell you cast every fight costs four extra mana. Middle hero starts poison for four? What is this? During the first turn, plus one pip to the enemy sides. I'm doing that. <laughs> that one, yes. Uh, it is, you know, it's worth caring about due to the fact that I'd say the first turn is a lot of the times uh, one of the more important uh, setups. Like, you do want to make sure you have some success on the first turn because it kind of sets the tone for the whole freaking fight. Uh, boy. So what do we have? Mulch, heal to one of any pip. Is good for that. Uh, we have gaze. What is this? Gain one reroll in the future. Have I not had the mystic? Did I, like, just unlock it or something? What's going on? By the way, you can't do that. Just pointing it out there. It's probably one of the most frequent... Uh, if I do get any backseating, people are like, why didn't you kill the thorn with burst? Uh, there you go. There's the old proof it's not a, th not a thing you can do. So we just need to kill the thorn, which means that a shield and a blast there is good. We could reroll the class of the cultist. It does keep itself as a blue and... Honestly, I like the cultist, so no. Pilgrim. Oh, the old pilgrim. Place all blank sides with heal and shield two this turn. Let's check. Um, certainly, pilgrims. Okay, it's 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 gone down. I've been a good boy. I've been a good boy. Versus, uh, who is it? All right. That being said, I have not taken the Disciple yet, so sure. Heal to double use. Revive the topmost two mana. It's a, This is a good character. I, I think I just haven't taken it because it was against something else potentially more exciting. I think that's just it. So you're, you only have the Revive phase, so we might as well keep it on that. Two damage seems good. Give me, like, the cleave or something. These two kind of like each other here. I think they uh, they have a good setup. And we could also... I mean, I was going to say we could mulch to use up that, but there's really no... There's no point. Alright. Uh, can I get the wolf? Oh, I guess that's what we'll do. We actually have a really interesting setup here. Because then we can also mulch. Huh. All right. Huh. Weird, weird, weird. I don't know if we can actually get this and then also save the alloy at the same time. That's just a lot coming in. Unfortunately. Yeah. We we'd have to we'd have to ditch one of them because glow is not gonna not gonna work for us. That's good. Why not? I do think cut makes sense just as a I think that's the thing. We're just we're we're one mana down from it being uh better than it is. So I think just start blasting. I'll use cut. And then mulch to heal it back up. No, I won't. I can't even do that. That's unfortunate, because it is fun. Which means I can't use mulch at all. It isn't... This is a very synergistic... Like, self-damage and then heal it back up kind of weird meme dream. I am a fan. Hmm. Two damage is what we're going to be looking for on that fighter, I'd say. 
as far as heals go. We can go for boop, boop. And then mulch. It's a very protective squad. But you know what? It makes sense. We're, we're down the, uh, we're down the rogue and the disciple is an exceptionally, uh, safe take on this here. We'll need to keep this all in mind. Just kill the bee. And then I guess we'll mulch for the top. We could cut, I suppose. We could go for like a... Something like that instead. Just actually get some damage out there. <laughs> We're desperate. We're going to need to use like mulch and cut quite a bit, I think. All right, there we go. We got gotcha. you. Mulch. Eh. Goodbye. Just to, yeah, just to get some actual damage out there. Replace the left side with the hero above his base left side, but then get minus one to the other five. I just... Well... No, I don't I don't think it makes sense. I'll take the stinky copper ring. So we can at least have a little bit of em extra empty max HP for the cultists. We can possibly like mulch heal it up, do some damage. Like we could do the one, then we'll mulch to heal back up to four or like three, and then we can just go boom boom. You know what I'm saying? It, it, there's some there's some flexibility in that that's quite nice. Spooky first turn moments. Order of operations on that does matter. Mm. We are going to need to double protect you here, but since we have this situation where the first turn is a scarier turn, be due to the fact that they all have the plus one pips on turn one, things should be a little bit better now. Take it. We can go for a little bit of a retaliation, which does help. Healing on up. I guess a cut at this point. Well, first of all, it kills us here. Unless we go for this. Technically a net neutral then. I think we just can't uh we can't be too passive. Okay, with our with our setup. That being said, we can't we can't be dumb and just like throw ourselves into the pit. Caldera or the soldier? <sighs> I like the reliability of the soldier right now a lot. Caldera is good. Cultus has some fun synergy with my current setup. I'm going to go for the soldier. As, like, as much as he's just a boring guy, if we get the plus one pip to all damage, like uh, basic damage sides, we're feasting, man. Add single use to all sides. Screw you. Might as well keep that there. Come on, we can do better. We, in fact... Well, I was going to say, we in fact could not do better, but this stuff's not bad. That's so much poison. Are you sure? If only. Um, yeah, seems wrong. I can only use it once a turn. So just for like min-max effectiveness, I I think 
I think we're going to want to use it. Yeah, that seems workable too. Give the big boy damage. Ah, screw it. Oh, double use and single use together is... <laughs> yep, that makes sense. It's a bummer. But it does make sense. Alrighty. We, we really can't uh, take our time on this fight. Because we'll eventually run out of faces entirely. Add picky and plus two pips to all targeted sides. I can't. Replace the middle of the side with shield three bloodlust. I don't mind that at all. Probably for the alloy. No, for the spade. Actually, that's really fun. Because here's the thing. If we want the revive side, we'll get the revive side. Right? Like, it's not going to be that hard to do. Okay. Probably worth popping a couple of these. It's fine to me. It's fine to me. Three damage, three damage. First rate. I like the squad. I like the squad a lot. <laughs> uh, target ally two cleanse. Target ally five shield. Target ally two cleanse. Target enemy three damage. Kill all enemies with two or less HP. A blank side and two damage pips. What in God's name are you talking about? So, target ally 2, does it seriously mean target ally, target this ally? It doesn't mean target two allies. Or maybe it does. I'd assume no. Yeah, no, no way. Target ally... Target ally to cleanse. Target and what is happening? Are you going to mark somebody with a target at the beginning of the fight? Is that what's going to happen? Yikes. Well, first of all, you're not even rolling anything, so that's a bad start. Is it just... Is it... Huh? Is it really just as flexible as it sounds? That seems too good to be true. Because, like, why... It, the thing that has me confused is, why is this not just a sword, right? Why is this not just a sword? This one, it kind of makes sense because there's not something that just cleanses. Why would this not be a shield? Unless there was a catch and I'm missing something. So, it makes me think that, yeah, I'm probably missing something. Nasty poison on turn one there. Because of our curse. Hmm, it's a lot of work to fix that up. Yeah, like, I, I don't know. 
it seems just fine. Like it's just going to oh, wrong one. Like it just works like a normal face would, but it's not doesn't have the normal symbols, I guess. Replace the two right sides with hero below's two right sides. Yeah. Already good. Already very good. Like, completely fixes this. Hmm. Two damage is workable, but... Revive... <laughs> is this just, is it just regular, like they're, it just has a confusing phrasing, and that's it? Because, like, why does this not say target, you know, target enemy takes three damage? Like, why would it not just say that? If that's the case, <laughs> it has me really confused in a weird way where it, this, there's nothing wrong with it. It's accurate. I think that that's just the whole thing. I think he's just supposed to feel alien uh, as a result. Uh, cleanse. We got the three damage. I mean, the golem's dead as hell. What if? No. Okay, so if we if we pop you, does put us in a weird spot where we need to spend everything to protect. Yeah, I think that it's. I think he's just a weird guy. I think that's the whole thing. But if you look at it that way, then he's just really strong. This is a three damage pip, two cleanses, and a five shield. Okay, I guess it's not that crazy. enemies with two or less HP. I feel like we gotta... We don't have very many empties, so it's like... Which is... And by that I mean... Ah, uh, yeah, we, we really don't have very many empties. We have to basically use up the cultist stuff or get quote-unquote lucky on the disciple. Ah, yes. We don't even have anything to cleanse. Not that it matters. Maiko or the Warden? Warden has a 100% pick rate. Maiko, I feel like... Alrighty. I've been liking the cultists, but... An empty max HP... I feel like maybe the alloy needs it since he's just got the lowest HP. Two mana decay, one mana decay, minus one pip after you use it, another revive. Shield one growth, one damage growth is nice. Spore is like, it's a weird one. Add in a, a decay and plus one pip to target side this turn. Cooldown. So like, it gets plus one this turn, but then, but then it gets minus one for the whole fight afterwards. So it's just a little, it's just a little awkward. Two wolves coming in. I feel like that might have to go. But then we damage the top line. That's fine, though. We have the shield up. That uh, th ends up being actually perfect. I can't deal with the extra wolves. We are going to need to get that cleanse. Whenever the enemies hit me with a poison on turn one, we're in a uh, rough spot. Shield one cleanse. Hey, that's something. Oh, Lord. But like I could do... Eh. 
Then you can cleanse yourself instead. Damage the middle enemy. I don't mind that well I have the prep for it, but it's like, we might as well just wait, right? There's no, no rush. No rush on that. Yeah, the Myco side's gotten pretty bad. Oh boy. Only thing to cleanse is right there. It's not that, it's just not that bad of a fight. Damage to the bottom, how much damage? Two damage to the bottom most enemy. We, uh, we should be able to just pop you. Add single use and cantrip to all mana gain sides. Replace shield and self shield sides with range damage retaining. It's pretty good with the alloy. It's obviously going to go away. I think it's still worth. Range damage cleanse is very funny. Ranged cleave is very good. Three damage ranged bloodlust, range damage cantrip. Like, it's got some good stuff. He's he's gonna go away, but... I think it's useful this fight. Nice. Mm. Huge. Do we want to deal with those summons? Just instant pop the whiz. I just don't want the two to the two summons. Just for like fight length, we're we're doing just fine here. Cleave. I feel like we can do better. Give me that bloodlust side. Nope. Yeah, it's going to be sad to, to lose the alloy, but knowing now that we have that item before we even pick our tier 2 is is really appealing. God, that was good. So, like, now we can do it with that in mind. I don't think that counts. But what if it does? What if it does? It in fact does not. But we could keep we could keep him like this as a very, I don't know. I kind of like that just as a very weird bard. Even giving up my cantrip reroll side, which we all know is probably my favorite. Shield one cleanse for an X is not bad. I'm down. I'm down. We still got to keep the cantrip side. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. But if that was a, uh, would have been fun if it was to damage all enemies. Does this count? Yes. Counts as damage. As far as uh, retaliation goes. Uh, this is pretty bad. We could have kept and gone for the kill on the sniper. It's pretty bad, but it's also that's our first turn. It's our it's our worst turn, first turn, worst turn. Mm. Yes. I do like that laser. Sack of mana. Replace the middle column with blank for mana and blank. Eh. It, it's good if we find something to replace those blanks. Scepter. 
place left side with one damage lead. I could pop it on the uh, Disciple at this point. It wouldn't bother me too much. Add ranged to all damage sides. You know? Like, just the ability to be super flexible. In this, yeah, it's got range. We can uh, target any backline. I don't mind it one bit. Some cleanse. We, we could keep the cleanse. I'm hoping for a three damage attack, because... This is a pretty good spot for us to go. Yeah, I mean, that was never going to be the thing. Do this and keep our mana. Yeah, I like I like that better. Keeping our mana and then working from there. Wow, Three damage, three damage, bloodless baby. It's one left, which I dig it. Next problem is here, and then we're truthfully just fine. Bard scary. We made a, made a scary bard. In a, in a weird, weird way. Bloodlust bow. Uh, the ghast. Five mana, die. <laughs> Kill an enemy with exactly one HP, then gain three mana. Two... Uh, <laughs> okay. If we can get the remove your keyword on the left. I mean, like, I know I've taken the barbarian, and I also know that I've taken... I think I've only taken it once, but I know that I've never taken this guy. Yeah, I've never even encountered him, apparently. Sure. Five mana. Death. We could get the revive. We could just have you just do that and then revive. I, uh... It's even then though, you have to look at like that's two faces. Two damage weak in single use. Hello. Eight damage heavy. Seven damage bloodlust eliminates. Top the top non magic hero adds possess and mandatory to all signs. Have to do it on it. I think we'll try and fish for the cleanse, I, I would say would be the, the logical call. Not that, please. Yeah. Okay. Uh, um. Stop it. Stop it. This does suck, actually. This actually really sucks. And then we shield after. I mean, that's kind of fun, at least, that we could just be like, yeah, whatever. That spell is good. Five mana death. It's the... Here, this is the thing. Two spells. Two spells, or two pips, in order to do what? It's not that good. Okay, come on, pal. All right. Boom, just to, to bring you back. It feels like a waste. Plus one pip for each damaged enemy. So, like... Oh. I can't shield herself. That's good. 
save when we needed it most. Do we have to do this? Oh, perfect. Thank you. If we need to use the glow, we can use the glow. Lens, we like that. Yeah, we actually like this all around. Burp, burp. And then you have to cleanse him of his nothing that we cared about. He's kind of cool. Kind of a cool guy. I doubt it, right? Start of the turn, self shield for one, plus one, and then minus two. Who cares? Add mana gain to all sides with exactly one pip. The bard? The bard? Oh, is it worth it? Yeah. Ah, uh, but we lose that on this, which is the, that meme dream. Unless we want to pop it on somebody else. Who else has, has shield sides that we care about? It would be... Oops. It'd be you. Yeah, I think we'll do that. You know, this gaining range is actually kind of nice, because then it's not a liability anymore. And if it's between this and this, I'd rather have this one go, right? It's just not that good all around. Uh, the blind with the cantrip attack, we're probably going to beef it. So let's just be prepared to. One shield across the board. Come on, you can you can get the reroll or something. Oh well. That's pretty interesting. Finally, a good uh, good old use of it. This feels unlikely. Oh, it's so close. What if, what if? We instead did that. I can even save you this way. Protects a little bit more, does it? Yeah, it does. But it also costs some mana. I don't know, man. It, it's a lot, but we also have this way. We have the scarier threat out of the way. I would, I would say he's the scarier of them. Curse. Curses. That is a really good spell. Like, that that's what that's about. That's about the spell. All monsters have one less max HP. All heroes have minus two max HP. Yeah, screw it. It does some good stuff for us. El Capitan... Y yeah. Yeah, it's just good, right? Two damage... Wait, three times damage pips, three times shield pips, two damage to all enemies, then shield two to all. Lucky to all sides, pips are randomized between zero and current pips changes each turn. I mean, if we... If you could remove... Get the remove keywords thing from that, seems quite good. But the alien, I, I just... 
I'm attached to that weirdo right now. This is good. This is a good damage dealer. We've done some weird stuff, though, but if we if we can roll an empty, we kind of want to lock it. And by kind of, I mean we, like, really want to lock it. Oh, we also had to change your thing. Bye-bye. I mean, that's just exceptional. <laughs> There's nothing... Nothing else to say about that. It's just very good. Cool. Right. Can we just... Hold on. Ah, yeah, that's right. I mean, I think I have it still anyways. Yeah, I, I do. But not in the way that was uh, that I was thinking. Plus one pip to all shield and self-shield sides. It's good. It's good, but this is great. Oh, wait, there we go. Duh. Order of operations on that one. Uh, this means that, uh, I mean, we can either make those ranged. I guess that's maybe better. Yeah, sure. It's that or this. And the question is, is there anyone where we want to copy? You copy their base sides. Do I care anymore? Nobody has good base sides for us. The good news is we have, like, some really good ranged attackers here. Lucky. Okay. Mom. All right. Uh, probably makes the most sense to just big kill. We don't have any blanks. Just taking you out of the way makes sense. Leaves us with a weird whoop, situation there. Okay, okay, okay. A little bit of overkill on the mana. Yeah, I really like the gas ability. The death side's not coming up very much, but there's ways you could obviously fix that up and make it better. Yeah, there it is. Obviously, you get the revive side. It becomes... Okay. Becomes a little something something. I don't know if that's entirely worth. Kill enemy with exactly one HP. Can't do it. Can't do it. It's ranged. You've been weakened, maybe? Should have taken the mana. There's no point not to. Ooh, randomized. Heal three, boost, and inflict pain. Oh. Poet. Poet's just good. Oh, it is just good. But it's not that... It's actually not that good. Now. It could be good with the, uh... Convert shields into damage, boyo. But, like, with the, um... The mana and the reroll, we have the... We have one mana... Or cantrip, gain a mana, and a reroll. Like, the bard is actually a better setup due to the jewel loop. What's your ability? Seven damage ranged. Requires a 1-4 pip side 
and a one keyword side. What the hell? I'm taking it. Screw it. Oh my god, I just realized he has four health. <laughs> oh, great. Something tells me we're going to be using this on the uh, on you quite a bit here, my friend. Especially because he has the four damage paint. Yeah, we need to... If we can get that item that removes... Mm, no, that's like a tier four item. It removes keywords or whatever. go well. This is for science. <laughs> okay, so you are gonna die no matter what in this in this whole fight setup. Uh two damage weakened single target. You do a little bit of um whoop, then now he's doing nothing, which is I mean, pretty fun. One four pip side and a one times keyword side. Don't I technically have that? Is this not a four pip side? Am I out of my, my mind? One four pip side. It, it shouldn't need to be it by a base. I've had other things that have... I mean, you know, hey, whatever. More power to it, yeah, I guess. We can go for a bonk, followed by a whoop, bonk, bonk. I mean, that's hot. Like, that's super good. We found a way to make that, uh, that really good up there. I don't think I really want to go for the... The death. I think that's useful. Please. You really want to die, friend, huh? Boom. That's... It's just so good. Wow. Wait. Oh, nowhere did I get the... Hmm. It's a weird one. We can go for a little bit of this... Followed by a revive. Sure, why not? It's gonna die anyways. I don't have a way to prevent death. Okay, we need you to stop. That's a big ol' yep. Come on, you can do better. Give me the old reroll. Good. So much mana, so much mana. Oh, it has to be an exactly four keyword side. That's or exactly four pip side. Add mana gain to target side this turn. Great sword. Replace the middle side with five damage. Inspired. Um, it's it's good. It is really good. I think I can pretty reliably, well, relatively reliably get that above there. Otherwise, the boost is a way to do it. It's got to be more than five. It's very good. Yellow heroes only, plus one pips to all sides. don't know. Cleave Chain, I could combo with that. I don't think it's the answer. I don't think it's the answer, which is unfortunate, because it means we wasted the item. Oh, hell. Oh, God. What is happening here? 
man. All right, let's think about this. A lot of damage coming in specifically on Labard. We could do a um, a bit of a shenanigan and actively don't do like a really good bloodlust there, which is an idea. Uh. Alternatively, hold up. Uh, we could go for a weaken there. Oh, we don't have a one keyword. So, oh. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, we could also just let the bar die and then revive. But I don't, I don't love that. I do not love that. You can kill the zombies really easily. Like, really easily. Could also try and burst down. Eh, it's just not enough. I just realized something crazy. Oh, I'm so glad we did the thing. Oh my god. Huh. I'm so glad we did the thing. So now we just have a different setup of problems here. I like that. We do have the four damage snipe we could do. Which feels like it's probably the call. Which means we're already safe, which is just bonkers. Let's just do that. Let's just do that. We could probably find a four damage. I mean, this is a really good... I mean, there's a four damage. It is also a dead that guy, if we care. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um, that's, that's an answer as well. We could also just kill you this way. But it's just going to be slightly harder for us to... Uh, yeah, but I finish you off. Stoic or the Prophet? I, I do like the Bard here. Prophet, heal one to all allies regen. I think is out of control. Heal three, rescue. Heal five, by vitality. Yeah. Prophet is absolutely the call. Here you go, yellow hero. Man, I wish the, the alien's ability would be really good right here. Uh, heal three rescue would do nothing, so I think that this is the call. Is this the best thing you got? I think that we are looking for... Uh-oh. Oh, God. I was gonna say, I think we're looking for the weak inside, but... Is this ranged? It's not ranged. Okay, um... Shoot. What does this use up? This uses up a lot of stuff. I think we gotta hit you with a let's see, who's dying? It's gonna hurt, but it only hurts on the one. Uh so we're already fine. We could go for the regen, the heal and the regen. Which saves everybody, and it's like a little bit of long-term safety, or a little bit, a little, little bit of, a little bit of long-term safety.
I like it. Stop it. We should do the cleave. I just feeling feisty. Feeling feisty. Didn't want to. Alright, we gotta... If we kill you... Or I guess we could just... Whoop. Nobody died, right? Nobody died. Good to go. Plus two to the top and bottom. I feel like there's something we can... I mean... I mean, we can make that a plus three. Ooh! Four damage, single-use weaken. I mean, it, it's pretty good. Plus one pip for each ability used this turn on the middle. Right, doesn't make sense for you. It would probably be this. Uh, two tier five items is also potentially viable. We have a couple heroes that are pretty ill-equipped. But Borhide Bracers is just like, it's just definitely good. We either get four mana and four heal or the four damage weaken. This is better for the long term. We obviously have like, oh, we have a, a lot of good use for mana. I mean, that is that worth it? Not really. I think that that's what we want out of you for the first turn. Jesus. What do we do here? Is anyone... You you guys are doing some some spread attacks. I think we just have to accept that that uh, that gas dies. But we'll we'll see here. Hold up. Um. Can I somehow fix it in a not expensive way? In a not expensive way? No, I can't. <laughs> Can I fix it? Yes. I care less if the top line guy dies. He doesn't have that much HP to begin with. If he comes back with half, it's like... It's annoying, but it's just, uh, not that big of a deal. Yes. This I can't really afford to do. Thank you very much, though. Okay. Mom. So this is... That's enough to get you dead, yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. So what does this look like? What do we use? Oh, that's it? Oh god, we can use it twice. That's incredible. We also kind of save you from yourself a little bit. so good. I can't imagine we want to change out our bard. Oh, the inevitable. Oh, oh the inevitable. Oh, the inevitable. This could be bad. Okay. Not a bad first turn. Four damage to top and bottom weaken era. Um. Okay, I really did not get what I was hoping for. <laughs> Inflict pain. A lot of inflict pain. There's two inflict pains down there in specific. Hmm. I can't... I mean, I could deal with two skeletons. I don't want to. This is only going to cleanse one thing coming in.
you, it's almost like I just let you die. It's that bad. Like, I mean, he has the double pain. It's like he, he can only have so many pain, you know, afflicted per turn there. So, okay, thank you. Yeah, if anything, you're taking that, but I don't know if it's quite right. All right. So you would go for a little bit of this, followed by that, followed by a big old heap and helping. We jump through two. That is very helpful. Love that. Love that for us. I think we go for the big heal and the regen. All right. Spooky, spooky. Spooky, spooky. We got some exerts. We got some exerts. We're going to want to... Um, that's a no. We want to cleanse some. That we can actually really easily do some stuff here. That's a one keyword side. So we can do a little bit of... Yeah, I think it's just the call. We red or res. Doesn't matter what we... We don't even need to cleanse anything here. But we might as well use it to just take less damage. We go for another regen? It seems like we're completely in the clear. God, I wish I could do this. I mean, we might as well... We might as well press it. Alright. Well, whatever it is, it's got to be... A pretty big old blast. Um... I'll press it. <laughs> I'll, I'll press it, I guess. I could. Well, otherwise I'm not... Uh, no, I was going to say otherwise I can't say I, I totally can, actually. Get rid of the exerts. This is mostly to get through another invincibility. This is like... I don't think it's worth it. He is ramping up, though, and it's getting very annoying. Thank you. That's the one... Come on. It's... It's some exert shenanigans. Uh, I think this is the one to go for. What a spell. What a freaking spell that was. Very fun run. Like, really fun run. Uh, made a wild thing. We, we <laughs> This guy didn't end up being that useful himself, but this spell... Unreal. But you can tell that it was because uh, <laughs> his value was put not into his HP. Ghast is a weird one. Two damage, weakened single use. Really good, but... Good, but uh, shaky good. Mostly good. This spell is, is cracked. It's like for one mana... So if, if there's somebody with one HP... They die, so you don't have to waste a whole die or spell to do, like, one dinky damage. And then afterwards, it's a net gain of, of two mana. Because it does cost a mana to use it. So, like, it's it's really good. And, you know, if you can find a way to... Uh, if you get the uh, eye patch, then this is just a five mana face. It's just quite good. Uh, Prophet spell is fantastic, and heal five vitality is just really, really good. Um, yeah, I wish that they showed... Why don't they show you your actual... The actual characters you made? It's weird. Anyway. Alas, alas, that's that. That's gonna do it here for today. Four slice and dice. If it'd be sad to see the series go, you gotta let me know in the form of a comment down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.